Oh, welcome to the video just to support uh, reopening uh, next week. Uh, so at Park Lane Academy, this is our main reception, but only staff will come through this reception as of Monday. Uh, parents, there is no access for parents, but there will be a sign on the door with a phone number. If you did need to enter the building for some reason, you can ring that number and we will come to the door and support you with any request. Students who've been in for the last uh, 10 to 12 weeks, they will all enter through the student services door. The student services door will be a sanitising station on the other side of the door and a member of staff to check that those uh, that is done and then to point them down to their pod area. Year 10 students who are arriving for their one-to-one -one meetings and their teaching in the week after and the week beyond that, they will come down the safeguarding slope. So there will be signs which will point year 10s down the safeguarding slopes to the rear of the school. On arrival to school, there's many formats you may take. You may just walk into school. Please maintain your social distancing measures. If you are arriving by a car, parents, please stay in car. Please don't get out of the car. Um, if you're staying to wait for your child for their one-to-one -one meeting, then that is fine. Please park up, but please don't come into the building. Um, you may be coming on the bus. Uh, the PL buses, the school buses, will start the week beginning the 22nd of June. Uh, if you're arriving on public transport um, or the buses from next week onwards, then you must be wearing face coverings. We have some of those in school and we can provide them each day if needed, but a scarf across the face or some covering across the face will be more than enough. So year 10 students will come down the safeguarding slope. Uh, again, socially distanced, please. As of Hopefully Monday afternoon, all of this will be marked with paint and it will point the directions and which sides students need to stand on as they're arriving into school. Uh, we haven't been able to lay that down because of the weather the last few days, but they will be on Monday. They're hoping that it's a warmer day and I believe the weather forecast is drier. So there will be signage on the floor pointing in directions. Two pods will walk on this side, depending on the pod you're in. The other pods will walk on this side and there'll be a clear line of distance what we've done is we've split the entrances so again less students uh, in contact with each other and pod uh, one and two will come in through the maths fire exit doors just here around the side of the safeguarding slope and on the other side of the doors will be a sanitizing table with sanitizing equipment and then as they enter their pod room they will have sink facilities to wash their hands before sitting in their pod area Pod three and four will follow the same plan, but they will continue down the safeguarding slope and around to the side of the building, and they will enter in through the technology rear entrance doors. Again, there will be a table on that side with the sanitizing equipment. They will sanitize, they will then walk to their pod rooms and they will wash their hands in the pod room and sit at their designated pod table. So I've come in through the pod doors now. Uh, there's the sanitizing pod table. There'll be a member of staff there to check that that is completed. Lots of rooms have been deep cleaned and we've just taped them off so that there's no access. Here is the first pod corridor. Floor's been measured for two meters so that students know what sort of distance to give each other and their peers. Um, here is pod one, which is the F2 room for students who have used this room in the past. So that is pod one. And then for those students who are in pod two, they will continue down this corridor and they will end at pod two, which is F8 for those students who've had lessons in those rooms. Each pod has its own designated toilet area. Pod two toilets, pod one toilets. They've all been put in with exactly the same information and materials. So there's soap, paper towels, uh, the urinals have been taped off in the males. So there's two cubicle toilets in each and only one child from each pod will use their pod toilet at a time.
I'm now at the rear entrance doors to the school where you would come in for technology. Again, for pod uh, three and four, this will be their entrance. Again, we have our sanitizing box, so they remember staff there to check that it's done. All our signage is up around the school, and then we have clear markings on the floor. You can see arrows telling you which side to keep to on the corridor, and then the two metre distances uh, for walking. Students will sanitize their hands. They will follow their markings. Again, each pod will have its own toilet, one child at a time, controlled by the pod teacher. So pod three and four is down the technology corridor. Pod four is G4 for students who've had lessons in those rooms. And we're gonna go into that room now and have a look. They're all set up the same. And pod three is G3. And again, very similar setup. Okay, we're walking into pod four now. So this is pod four, which has been completely designed around a two meter social distancing setup. So you can see we actually have 10 tables in here, but each pod is designed for eight students. We've added the extra two tables just in case, or if, in case we had to move a student around. But this is the only room where we have 10, but each room is designed for eight. Each room will have a pod kit. So students can once again sanitize on entry into the classroom, into the pod, but also every single room has sink facilities. Every single pod has sink facilities. So on arrival to the room, students can wash their hands with soap and dry with paper towels. And then they can put those paper towels into the designated closed top stainless steel bins that have been purchased. Back over to the pod entrance. Each pod table will also get water, crisps, biscuits and fruit, uh, which will be put out under the table. The pod tables look like this. So there's obviously the seating area, and then we've marked an area with an X because we don't want students sat there because then it would shorten the two meter distance between where other people are passing. And every student will get their own kit for the whole week, which will then be sanitized at the end of the day and the end of the week. Any materials that can't be sanitized will be destroyed. So as I say, this is pod four. And this will be where on your letter that you received, if you were down to be in pod four for your week of teaching, this is where you will be. You will have the same desk, same resources all week. And the only people that will change will be the member of staff who will change over for your lessons. But you will have the same members of staff every day for that week. So again, no transferring between different pods. Every pod looks similar, slightly different depending on the shape of the room, but very similar in setup, content, resources, and distancing. If a student was unwell for any reason whatsoever, a member of first aid will come down in PPE gear and the student will be met at the designated first aid room that we've created. So first aid is normally upstairs in the main part of the building, but for the next four to five weeks, first aid will now be in G6A. As you can see, social areas have been taped off. Uh, students will have their social breaks in their pods in which they will stay at their desks, but they will have an opportunity to get a drink, go to the toilet in ones, have something to eat before the next changeover of the lesson. If staff have to move around the building, staff have also been given two meter distance tape to make sure they maintain their distance around the building. Again, you can just see on the floor, arrows on either side of the corridor 
making sure people are walking on the further side. All bins have been removed from social areas and areas around the school corridors. Again, the only bins that will be in use will be stainless steel bins with lids so that anything can be contained that would need to be contained in line with regulations.